Imagine a small village nestled in the heart of Mexico. The year is 1943. Life in Paracutin was peaceful. Farmers tended their cornfields. Children played in the sun. The air was fresh and the land was fertile. Dionisio Pulido, a local farmer, worked his land like generations before him. Little did he know his world was about to change forever. The village of Paracutin was small and quiet. People knew their neighbors. They helped each other. Life was simple and the rhythm of nature dictated their days. The land was their livelihood, providing food and sustenance. The villagers lived in harmony with the earth, unaware of the fiery secret it held. Dionisio Pulido was a hardworking farmer. He was proud of his land. One February afternoon, as he worked in his field, something strange happened. The ground beneath his feet felt warm. He dismissed it as just the heat of the day. But as the days went by, the ground grew warmer and a strange smell filled the air. At first, it was just a subtle tremor, like a giant sleeping beneath the ground was starting to stir. Then came the cracks in the earth, appearing in Dionysio's cornfield. Smoke smelling of sulphur began to rise from the cracks. Fear gripped the villagers. They had never seen anything like it. The earth was alive and it was angry. The ground trembled more frequently. Each tremor sent waves of fear through the village. The cracks in Dionysio's field widened and the smoke grew thicker. A low rumbling sound like distant thunder filled the air. The villagers gathered, their faces etched with worry. What was happening to their peaceful land? On February 20th, the earth roared. From the depths of the cracked earth, a fiery fountain erupted. Molten rock called lava spewed into the sky. Ash and cinders rained down on the terrified villagers. Dionysio's cornfield, once a symbol of life and sustenance, was now the birthplace of a volcano. The villagers watched in awe and terror as the volcano grew. Day by day, the cone of ash and lava rose higher. The air filled with the roar of the eruption and the red glow of the molten rock lit up the night sky. Their once peaceful village was now overshadowed by a fiery mountain. The birth of a volcano is a rare event. Scientists from around the world flocked to Perikitin. They wanted to study this geological marvel up close. Here was a chance to witness the raw power of nature and learn about the forces that shape our planet. The volcano provided a unique opportunity to study volcanic activity in real time. Geologists, volcanologists and other scientists set up camp near the erupting volcano. They carefully documented the growth of the cone, the flow of lava and the composition of the ash. The data they collected at Paricutan would prove invaluable for understanding volcanic eruptions and their impact on the environment. The eruption of Paracutin was a spectacle, but it was also a disaster for the local community. The village had to be evacuated. Homes and fields were swallowed by the ever-growing lava flows. The villagers lost their homes, their livelihoods and their way of life. The once fertile land was now buried under tons of volcanic rock. The air was thick with ash, making it difficult to breathe. The villagers watched helplessly as their beloved village disappeared under a sea of lava. They were forced to start their lives anew, carrying with them the memory of the day their world changed forever. For nine years, the volcano raged. Then, as suddenly as it began, the eruption stopped. Paracutin fell silent, leaving behind a cone of hardened lava almost 1,400 feet high. The village was gone, buried under tons of volcanic rock. But from the ashes of destruction, a new landscape emerged. Today, Paracutin stands as a stark reminder of nature's power. The volcano, now dormant, is a popular tourist destination. Visitors come to marvel at the solidified lava flows and the ruins of the church, a testament to the destructive force of the eruption. Paracutin, the volcano that birthed itself in a farmer's field, serves as a silent but powerful reminder of the ever-changing face of our planet.